seascape in a golden late afternoon light. Let's paint it. This is non sanded Kensington paper and this is the reverse side. The scene is a nice scene with a boat, but it's kind of this big foam, kind of splash here. And then there's quite a bit of water. And then there's a boat. I like the boat. It's just a nice accent. So I don't want to split the paper in the middle, but I do like the clouds as well. I didn't want to make this about the sky, so I kind of will have to rearrange that a little bit so that I still have the pattern of the sky, of the clouds in the sky. For the sand, the paper is actually kind of close to the color of the sand, but there's also some darker area, cooler color in the shadow for the rocks. Then the part of the wave that's in the shadow, I'm going to use some blues. And I like how that warm color of the paper shows through. So I should keep it. Now this is a little bit more purple, but it looks the same actually. Very close. So I don't want it to make all one. Right. And then in the area where there's a little bit more sun showing, sunlight through the wave, I'll make it a little bit more kind of warmer purple. And at the top as well. Now the water, this is not dark enough. Maybe this the distance here with the last light it's not going to be even the horizon because I can't really reach that side that well to see it and there's this one kind of stronger horizontal going on with a wave. It's nice to break it up a little bit. That's peace. So now here's a question. Do I want to blend it? Right now this is a good opportunity to do that. Or do I want some of that color showing through? I think maybe a, kind of like in more dense areas or closer to the bottom to do that then also next let's do that for the water here but this that I have this lighter area that's more for the reflection then there will be some lighter areas here as well The same thing I think I should do here. Let's make this particularly in the shadow area. To deepen those darker colors. I can still overlay the blue of the waves on top of it. And here the scent is lighter, but I think I still want to add maybe like a color here. And just give it again a little bit of a blending touch. So you can see I'm not really making the bow there yet because it's just going to be in a way I would have to dance around it and just not the time for that yet. So what's more important is the sky. That has to be a nice warm. Maybe it's a little too green. Okay, this is a little too light. Let's try something like this. Maybe it's like, oh no, this is too bright, too yellow. It's okay, we can cover it. And I leave 
the area for the clouds there. And then I'll do the same here. But try not to get the blue into it because the sky is that luminous area. And then guess what? I can very lightly do that. And that will start my reflection there. Let's do the clouds. It should be some gray warm color. Maybe something like this. But I also want something a little bit darker. This is neutral comparing to the other one. It's kind of more gray. But I also want a little bit darker than that. Well, that is a good start probably. These are not really big, thick clouds. And then maybe like somewhere towards the middle, even darker, even grayer. This is cooler, but that might work for the thicker part. Right now, with the sky being so yellow, it's kind of hard to see where I'm going with this. But once I add the color that's closer to what I want it to be, we'll see it better. Maybe even this over that yellow, it will give me the right color. Then maybe a little bit of that. And I could blend this a little bit. It will start getting more ultramarine, kind of more red, blue. And should I get this kind of separation from this cloud? Maybe. So it's not just one layer here. It can be several to get the color that I want. So let's just keep building up the values and right now I need more of that darker color. Here in the waves, particularly closer to the ground. And that's where I can start building the volume. And this is a stage when often it just doesn't really look like anything and it's so easy to give up. But I want to give it a try. Tried a little bit of turquoise with this, and now let's get actually something that's quite interesting here. It's this part, that's why I left more space here in the foreground. This water, and it is more turquoise because the sky has a lot of 
green at this point but still some blue as well and within the shadows we can have some of that full maybe just a little lighter it is in the shadow so it's not going to be bright white and there are some rougher areas in the sand so whatever's in the shadow there it's not going to be very light but there's a little bit of sun somewhere there so we can eventually add a little bit more but for now i think that worked and let's get the sand a little bit of that glow that it has kind of like orangey glow it's warming it up the sun is warming it up and it's something even a little bit brighter but not as chromatic maybe a little bit lighter so that will show also that the surface is not even and it can also indicate some footprints somewhere. I don't want to make them too pronounced, not like in the picture, the very hard edges everywhere. If it gets a little too orange, I can tone it down with a little bit of more kind of ochre, more yellow ochre color. But either way, this is kind of like on a warmer side. Colors. And it shows that this is still getting that sunlight. The sun is not quite down yet. And some of that color is going to be in the water. Why? Because it's warmer. This part has that reflection of the clouds. And that's why it's nice to have that warmth there. And can I have a little bit more of this glowing? This is for the wave, if I want to show a little bit of the ripples happening there yeah. within it. And just a little bit here as well, but maybe not as pronounced. Don't want it to all start looking similar, symmetrical. So here closer to us, there's a darker color, but there's also that kind of like more turquoise looking well it's kind of close to what i had here but i will make it slightly different it shouldn't be the same and then on the other side of the wave to show that flatter area between the waves actually maybe here as well and then when it goes away from that center from that reflection let's add a little bit more blue, Cooler blue. shouldn't really be blending much so now what's missing? Well, the boat, yes, but not what I'm talking about. This, the darker 
part of the wave the top the darker top let's put that one in and i'm thinking about which color should be better i'll start with this actually where we do have that really thick wave thickness that's where this color is going to be but then some edges are going to be pretty soft and maybe some of that I'm here on non sanded paper. I have to think about how many layers I can get on before it will start being too flat. And since I pressed harder in certain areas, that might start doing it pretty soon. now I do have some separation from the background this wave versus background water but you want to make sure your hands or your gloves are clean before you start blending anything And I also wanted to have that here, I guess. I don't know, maybe I shouldn't, but it's like it's something. But I'm not going to do the shadow for that. and purples are complementary colors it's actually creating quite a nice combination and that is either in thinner parts somewhere or where it gets lower and then the foam kind of still goes up and catches a little bit of light but not on the side that's really dark but because the paper shows through and the paper is close to that warm golden color kind of creates a nice look nice suggestion so that maybe also here going a little bit further in i actually like how it's coming out maybe not exactly the overall thing but this part other things I still have to work on. So some texture in the sand. Now a little bit more variation in the shadows. So 
so that we just see some of those kind of separate streams of foam. So you can see it's possible to keep the texture for quite some time even on non sanded paper and it's a nice way to practice because this way we just don't kind of freeze that we are ruining another expensive piece of paper this one is not as expensive but it does allow you to actually check your ideas like will it work I think it might. So we don't want to eliminate those darker colors completely either. So that starts happening. Do need to have them. That's a nice contrast so that it stays there. I need it. And here maybe it's more blue than that great down purple. So that is happening. Now I do want to make this part a little bit lighter. So maybe I'm pressing a little bit harder to get that reflection. I'm not quite sure. I don't want it to be the same color. The idea is to get the color that's kind of warm enough for that area. And actually maybe a little bit of texture here. But I do have the build-up of this lighter color already, so it's not gonna work as well as initially. Let's get a little bit of that to show the sand. Maybe here. can do it on this. I like the texture, but it's a little bit went out of hand. Alright, so let's add, add a little bit more here as well. So, here I want to get this edge softer again. I don't, that, I don't want that kind of dividing dark line there. And a similar thing here. Okay, it's another color that is nice for the sunset and it's a little bit more quiet than that orange it's kind of coral so now let's try again with the sand because it went too far So there's a little bit of a darker color usually happening where the water stops. I don't want to outline it, but just a hint would give it a little bit more realistic look. And now let's go back to that lighter color. This one's green, actually. 
And on top of it, I will add very lightly the blue. And that should create maybe like some idea, some illusion of the reflection of the sky. And maybe this orco. So I still want that to be a little bit darker, but not very, very dark. Either. Maybe like that. Okay, the sky. Let's get some light in the sky. And I remember I should walk light so that I don't destroy all that color that I already have there. And some parts still kind of darker, and others. Parts of the clouds kind of catch more sunlight on them. And if it's getting a little too outlined, I'm just going to kind of soften that. And in the distance, it's going to be very light. So it kind of blends into this lower cloud. And now I can reinforce the light a little bit here. Of course, my light here is a lot more yellow than we see in the picture. And that's okay. And I can also add some of that here and for the horizon well not just for the horizon but kind of this area here I'm going to warm up these blues to the edge it's lighter and lighter touch pressure on the stick so is it time to put the boat on the water i think it might be well, let's do it where should it be 
it looks somewhere here it's not right on the horizon it's a little bit below and it's smaller of course than what i have here but it is awkward not to have any support for my hand and to draw something that small maybe i can just curb it a little bit yeah it doesn't matter really it's small that's what i want to show here and the sails should be kind of bluish gray but also there's some warmth to that so i guess it would be easier to make them with a hot pastel i can try this Any, anyone who is sailing watching this, please forgive me <laughs> for making a mess out of this, but it's just a little too difficult of a situation. Need to get a little bit of a light in that part. Definitely not anything realistic here but that's the boat even hot pastel is definitely thicker than what's required there to make it more realistic okay so i'm just going to leave that the way it is so where's my yellow maybe that will correct it push it back the line but because that's the yellow it's a little bit more chromatic i should tone it down now you can see why making that in the beginning would be a complete nuisance to walk around so that's the boat i wish i could make it a little bit more clear that's it not going to spend much time on this for a small painting usually that's not easy to do besides i'm more concerned with what's going around the boat not the boat itself so let's get back to that let's get back to creating these beautiful variations within the form without destroying this lovely layering, hopefully. So some texture. bulkier areas of foam crashing maybe like more light from the sky on the top of it well i'm definitely making this sketch because of the foam pretty much in the sky i do like how that works too Should I bring a little bit of that into the sky? It starts already caking up. The paper doesn't really take much. And I think it's a good idea actually to kind of create a little bit of that cooler color in the sky as well just in the shadow part maybe so it just echoes the rest of it it's not going to be everywhere in every cloud of course just maybe in the thicker ones in certain parts so at this point let's just 
get more light here in this part that actually get a lot of illumination so it's more exciting suggest some of that in the distance probably not clean glove to do that so here maybe i'll just create a little bit of this so it's not just one big cloud from here to here hovering but this separation maybe it needs a little bit of that blue just showing through a little bit that's an experiment We definitely have those glowing edges on this cloud, so I want to show that. Broken up, getting a little broken up here. The more light and the lower cloud. I want to unify that a little bit. This is where I ran in a little bit of a problem with the video. It just flattened those light yellows. And you can refer to the final image in the lower left corner and you'll see what the sky actually looks like because that one is a photo and the photo worked out pretty well. I still decided to show you this video because I think the rest of the process came out pretty well. It looks pretty good the way it's supposed to. And for this guy you can just refer to the photograph. too much into the water, we can do that. Okay, let's see, should I make this a little bit like this, maybe? Kinda nice to have a little bit of a interesting detail here. Footprints, maybe. Okay, I think now what I'm going to do is just finish this part and the color of the water here because it's definitely still not quite reflecting the light as much as I would like it to. So the color for that should be maybe something like this. Get that kind of golden color. Since I have a lot of highlight here, that probably where it should be too.
And for the distance, just lightly touching the surface with the flat side of the stick. Didn't do that, and that's what happened. Didn't clean my pastel. So I want to do this before finishing touches on the foam. This might be too light. Maybe this turquoise over that gold. definitely express the sunset colors mm. and I don't want to blend now particularly now because I want the texture too far I think but maybe just picking up a little bit that darker line and it disappeared, but it's okay. And I can still bring maybe like a little bit of that. If I want. This is a darker turquoise color, but not as dark as the initial purple. So I think it works. light and now maybe the same color and echo it in here that came out a little too hard as far as the lines So in my version, again, this kind of not as dark here, the top edge, so maybe in some areas I'll add a little bit more of that darker color again, but it doesn't have to be very dark because I'm going to add some of that white again at the top. So originally it was this it kind of goes back and forth i keep adding it keep covering it up but now i can actually add and it's going to be more of a final layer so something here so here we see I wanted to do the toothbrush spray here as well. It's a nice space for that. Because there's not much going on, that could work. And before I do that, I want to add a little bit more light across, like what I was using there. I'm going to add some of those highlights on the fall. And you can see how they really glow now. But if it starts being just all very much on the same level, it's not what I want. I want 
more of an up and down situation here. And these can even catch a little bit. The top maybe. alcohol then we'll do this with a toothbrush that I use specifically for this and then do this spot so it adds a little bit more to this more excitement I don't want to do too much but everything is kind of light so it works so now this dries and of course of everything else the board looks really the worst i think so if you want to make any changes you're probably better off waiting till this dries but i just want to finish this You definitely smudge it easier if you just start making these corrections right away. So I would wait a little bit. So that's it. That's my boat at the sunset. And that's the water reflecting that the sky better Brush is a very useful thing. <laughs> and at this point, it's actually quite difficult to add anything. It's definitely Kensen reached the saturation point. And this is a little bit harder pastel. This is something I wouldn't recommend normally. Trying to go back into the background after doing the spray because it's just going to get destroyed that way easily. So I better stop there. But if I want to smooth it just a touch. One thing though here, I think this kind of is a little bit more interesting with a little bit of a stronger emphasis on these on the thicker part how it was illuminated and then this here gets pretty much good out melting away Things start looking too flat. That's why I want to come in and add a little bit of that. 
If you enjoyed this demo, if it was useful to you, please give it a like and also check out my other Seascape tutorials, a wave and water and rocks and the links are going to be in the description. I'll see you in the next video.